Okay, we're gonna now add some more animator groups. Um, try to animate um, some scaling and rotation to this, and um, and we're also gonna look at the range selectors. So um, here's the animation, and I'm just gonna go to probably to the very end where we left off, which is right about here. Um, twirl down. And you can see that these are my keyframes, which I, I changed a little bit. I made them all a little quicker. Could get a very end there. And sometimes if you just want to go to hit the U, that will just give you just your keyframes. Sometimes you can get a little lost of where things are at. So if you hit the U, it'll close it, and then U again, and that will show you your keyframes. Um, I'm just going to go down here and I'm just going to have the select text. Um, we're going to go in here to the animate again and we're going to add another group and let's let's do um, let's do rotation. Okay so now it pops up and you can see it's selected um, after I do that so and once again it's called animator group one which is very generic when we changed our our title up here it was animator one, but then I added I also added tracking and skew. I did that. Now I'm going to change this one to so I'm going to call it animator two since so our second one, and then we'll call it uh, rotation one. Okay. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is we're, these are the uh, the range selector handles, and you can drag them where you want. And I think we'll we'll just hit we'll go we'll rotate this one. And here's the end over here at the very end. Okay, and you drag it. So now I'm just selecting the one. I'm going to try to rotate that. Um, and I just want to rotate it around once. So I'm going to click on that number and hit a one. And I'm going to hit the stopwatch for a keyframe. Now I don't want that keyframe to be there. I'm just going to move over just a little bit. I want it to start at zero. So let's hit zero. Return. And that animated the whole thing, which I don't want. Oh, that's because I did it under transform. I was going to do that later. So I want it under here, under the range selector. So rotation. So under that, hit one. Keyframe. Okay, we'll move that over a little bit. I'm keeping my time indicator the same place because that's where I want it. And I'm going to hit a zero, so I'm going from zero to one rotation. So there you can see it. So if you notice, I changed my keyframes right here, and my animation is just where I selected. And that worked. Okay, now I want to move it over a little bit and I want to, I want to rotate, or let's, yeah, let's say I wanted to rotate the two, but I can't just bring these over and then, and then do it as a separate, as you'll see. So we'll give it a keyframe. And we'll change that to three. So now if you if you notice what happened was the one didn't get animated. Because I moved it. It's all under the same animator too. So I have to add another animator. I just wanted you guys to see that. So let's hit command Z.
So now my one is animated again. So now I have to go back up to the very top of the text area and under animate again, I'm going to, how about we add a scale on this one? Now that's still being added, so I don't want that. See, I'm adding it, that just added it to this animator too, which we want a separate one. So let's command Z on that. Okay, so I'm going to select the text. And I'm going to select this again, just to make sure that I clicked off of that lower area, which looks like it did. And once again, I'm going to hit animate again. And what did I say? I was going to do scale this time. Okay, so did that add a new one? Yes, so here I have my animator two, rotation one. I'm going to call this one, so let's uh, right click, rename, animator 3, I'll call this one scale, okay, all right, so let's click on the uh, animator 3 to make sure we're in that area. And we're going to grab the handles and we're going to move it over to the two. Okay, now um, let's give it a stop. Let's give it a keyframe. So we'll hit the stopwatch on scale. Move it over a little bit. And we'll just. give the value a lot large, something very large, so maybe around there. Again, I'm, I'm left clicking on the numbers and dragging to the right. Okay, so it rotates and then the two scales up. Okay, let's move it over a little bit and we'll scale it back down. Do one, we'll just click the number value at 100. Okay. Okay. So we've got that. Now let's add one more. Let's do the three. So once again, let's make sure we're clicked off of that. Click on the, the text itself. And we'll do rotation again. Okay, and that looks like it did give us a new one. So we got animator three up here and then animator one again for a rotation. So let's click on the animator one, right click, rename, and we'll call that um, rotate, oh, animator, what was it? What are we on now? Animator four, rotation, and it's the second rotation, so we'll just call that rotation two. Okay. And I clicked on that range selector there, and I'm gonna grab the handle and move it to three. The end one is already at the end of three, so we should be good there. Okay, I'm at the end of that, those keyframes, so now I'm gonna add Click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. And I'll move it over a little bit. And then on the rotation, we'll click from that zero, we'll click a one. All right, and there we have it. Save and quit.